Stop using these tools unless you want to get caught by tonight. Last week, I set out to test a bold claim that AI humanizer tools can beat Ternitin. Tools like undetectable.ai, grubby.ai, and Walter Wright's all promise to make your AI-generated text look human enough to pass. But are they actually fooling detectors like Ternitin? I wasn't just curious, I wanted facts. So I created one baseline paragraph using ChatGPT, just a typical student-level text on climate change. Then I ran it through seven of the most popular AI humanizers. And guess what? Most of them failed. Hard? Let's break it down. Undetectable.ai marketed as the easiest way to bypass Ternitin. I pasted my paragraph, got the output, and ran it through Ternitin. Result? 96% AI detected. Grubby.ai, same deal. Changed a few synonyms, added fluff. Looked decent to the eye, and but Ternitin caught it at 65%. No go. AI humanizer.ai nice interface. Poor results. Felt robotic, awkward, not even close to human. Walter writes. This one had promise. It rewrote the structure decently, but Ternitin still flagged it as 36% AI generated. Stealth GPT more polished writing, but still not safe. Ternitin said 26%. HIX.AI output was pretty, but too formulaic. Then I found rephrase.ai. This changed the game. Instead of just swapping words, it lets you customize your own writing style, making it truly yours. I ran the output through Turnitin. Result, 0% AI detected. No flags, no red alerts. It passed everything. The other tools, they write like an AI trying not to be AI. Rephrase.ai writes like a human who actually has something to say but blindly pasting AI content into humanizer tools isn't going to save you. You need something smarter, something that actually understands language nuance. I tested seven tools, only one passed. Refresy.ai isn't just better, yeah, it's the only one that worked.